everyone, it's Brett here with the Tuning School, and welcome to another episode of Tech Tips. Today, we're not going to be talking so much about a actual tune-related issue, but actually a mechanical issue. Believe it or not, when it comes to support tickets, we're going to be answering, uh, or the solution we're going to be finding, I would argue probably seven to eight times out of ten, it's not going to be tuning-related, and that is what happened here in this particular ticket, so I thought it would be a great thing to share with everyone. Um so the customer said, when idling, if you rev it up, the idle hangs for a split second and then slowly decels back to idle. And so this is a uh, Gen 5 uh, vehicle. It's uh, a Gen 5 engine, so direct injected LS engine, or direct injected GMV8, I should say, not LS. Um, so it'd be an LT platform. And it's all swapped into a 1970 Chevelle. Um, and as a rule of thumb, this is going to be a red flag to me out of the gate because that's going to indicate to me that there's a lot of things that could be wrong here because everything has been touched. Every inch of this car has been worked on uh, and that's every wire, every connector, all of that stuff. Um, and so it's got an eight speed trans Texas speed um, cam, long tube headers, the whole deal. And so um, I reached out to the customer immediately uh, and given my experience that I have from working with these engines, I said that this is not a normal characteristic for gen five idle control. Um, so with that in mind, I suspect this is a mechanical issue, like a vacuum leak, and you'll want to go through, uh, the setup thoroughly, uh, go want to thoroughly go through the setup, uh, looking for an issue like this. And then I, I gave them some small tune changes to try with some small idle stuff just in case, like it might, you know, get them up and going. Um, the customer then reached back out to me a couple of days later, actually it was the same day. Um, but he says, thanks for the reply. He said, I figured out what was going on. You are right. It was was not tune related. Uh, it was actually a pin in the trans connector that, that had bent and wasn't making contact and causing it to go into limp mode. And he said, thanks for taking time to look over my file. And so this is a great example of you've got to get out from behind the laptop sometimes and swaps are going to be really notorious for that. Uh, and so this is always a great thing to keep in mind when you're submitting a ticket or when you're trying to tune something, if something's just not working right, um, there is a high possibility that it'll be mechanical and that's what happened here today. So it's a great example and hopefully you guys learn something from it.